So each time, whenever the admission season comes, our YouTube channel is full of only one question. It seems like a billion dollar question and almost every student is asking after their plus two. And the question is, what's the difference between BSc Biotechnology and BTech Biotechnology? Why are two different degrees at the bachelor's level? It seems confusing. In fact, why can't it, there be one? Why is it two? So to answer that question, today I'm making this video in detail so that you get a complete clear cut overview of the differences as well as similarities in between both the degrees. Now to start with, there is a point which you should know. According to my perception, the policy makers move slow. So they first created a degree and then realized that there should be uh, another aspect of that degree and they remodeled that as a different degree. So basically this is what has happened. So initially the BSc Biotech came and then when the engineering colleges and the industry demanded an engineering type of a degree, so BTech came, so BTech or BE in biotechnology. Now both are similar in many aspects and different in the complete outlook. So you can't really say that this is uh, we comparing oranges, okay? One is orange, one is apple. It's very difficult to compare and there are similarities, right? So let's look at the similarities first of all. The first similarity we have is both of them are biotechnology. So both of them will deal with your theoretical knowledge of biotechnology. Now both of them will involve lab work. Both of them will have similar subjects, okay? Even though the approach may be different, but the subjects will be similar and both of them will have uh, various um, subjects. It's not just uh, there is a subject only biotechnology. There will be multiple subjects within it like cell biology, biochemistry, uh, molecular biology, genetics. So there can be various sub subjects under this. Okay. Now the first difference if you ask me is the duration. Okay. This is three years, this is four years, but then why four years? Why three years? So, you know, if you ask me in one line, what's the difference? Well, there is much more, but just one line answer would be that a BSc degree is more oriented towards research and a BTech degree is more oriented towards the industry. Okay. It's not that the BTech person cannot do research. You can do it, but it is more driven towards the industry while BSc is more driven towards research. Now to understand what's the difference between a research and an industry, let me give you a simple example. So let's say that I am um, trying to develop penicillin, right? So I'm doing research. So I am uh, going in a lab every day. I'm trying to inoculate the culture. I'm trying to see uh, what kind of bacterium is there and what kind of uh, product I'm getting in every day. So it, it is something which has never been done. I'm trying to do it. Okay. So every day I fail and one day I succeed and then that particular thing becomes a research paper or a patent or a you know, uh, proven model, right? So that's how it happens. So a BSc guy does that. Now a BTEC guy will, what he'll do is he'll take that process, optimize it, scale it and put it in the industry so that now it can be commercially pr produced, right? So basically it's more of applying the research principles into industry so that the industry can earn money. So this is basic difference. I, I hope you could get it. Now let me explain you in detail about what is the major differences, what are the minor differences, what uh, you should be looking at and how, which one you should prefer. And of course, some colleges also you'll ask me. So even that I will try to answer. Now, if you ask me, okay, if you ask me uh, which degree I should prefer, simple answer is if you go for a um, BSc, you should only go for a BSc if your maths is weak or um, you really don't like the engineering side of it, right? But if your maths is good, okay, because uh, BTEC engineering will require maths and uh, then you should go into the BTEC side of it because there is a lot of applied mathematics into um, BTEC, Biotech that I have seen. In fact, the first year will be full of that. Advantages of a BSc will be you'll have a strong theoretical knowledge. Your career will uh, be more oriented towards the research opportunities. But definitely after BSc, you will have to do MSc. After MSc, you'll have to do a PhD. That's how the, the cycle works. And uh, BSc degree is more of a foundation to your research uh, career. It is not a start. Now, 
after a BTEC, your chances of getting employed is a little higher than BSc. Okay, little higher, like one percent higher than BSc. Why? Because uh, there are many industries uh, which exist in the uh, in the in the universe, right? So they will obviously be looking at some um, biotech engineer who can take up the process and further optimize it or monitor it or scale it and stuff like that, right? So that's where uh, the things will come. Now the disadvantages which you will face as a BSc is you will not have engineering skills. So if you are absorbed into the industry and you are asked that okay, this this is a fermenter and you have to optimize the process or you know they, if they ask you for a bioprocess skill or uh, stuff then you will not be equipped enough to do that right you your uh, orientation will be totally different so as a biotechnology industry as it will grow the competition will obviously increase and this uh, uh, thin line in between bsc and btech will obviously uh, be gone in the future but for now yes bsc um, bscs i would say not at a disadvantage but definitely if you want to get into the industry btech is a preferable degree now advantages of uh, btech will be you have applied skills and these are engineering skills which uh, focus on the practical aspects of the experiment and uh, like bioprocess development industrial applications and manufacturing so that, that that's where you are going to be absorbed now you will be more industry ready when compared to a bsc guy you know many a times uh, the after 3 years of bsc you still feel like a child in the biotech industry but after a btech of 4 years you definitely feel like an adult in the biotech industry that's that's my perception now i'm not favoring B, uh, btech over bsc both are different degrees but btech will have a different outlook and of course one advantage you have after btech is you can directly pursue your phd you don't need to do a masters okay so that's one benefit you have over the bachelor's degree now the specialized engineering skills which you will develop in the btech degree are highly sought after by companies abroad okay especially germany uh, us europe now what happens there is hiring phd is costly at the same time uh, a btech comes cheaper for them right so obviously they'll hire faster and of course they are looking at somebody who has got highly analytical skills and btech degree gives you that analytical uh, skill over the bsc but at the same time bsc will take you towards uh, research which um, probably a btech guy uh, you know may not prefer if you want to get into research like you want to do cancer research or you want to do research on various diseases like alzheimers and stuff uh, cns diseases rare diseases genetic diseases um, products of the future so these things now btechs have that ability to take that research and apply it into industry format and scale it right so basically if you ask me any day i would say a btech will score a little higher than bsc but at the same time bscs have their own advantage only go for a btech if you have a uh, if you have good command of, over mathematics go for bsc if you have more interest in research and you have slightly lesser command over mathematics however mathematics will be required in both the degrees it is not that it will not be required okay now coming to the some of the uh, best engineering colleges as well as colleges for uh, bsc we have a complete list on our website and even if it is verified by national nirf uh, ranking also and to my memory if you ask me um, some of the best colleges in india for uh, biotechnology whether it is btech or bsc you ha you'll have to check uh, the colleges for their pro these programs but amrita university uh, ibab SRM, Amity, BY Patel, these are the, some of the best colleges you have, Yenapoya University, then you have uh, PSG College of Engineering for BTEC, it's very nice college, then you have um, various other colleges uh, in, uh, so, so SRM you have two, two uh, colleges now, SRM Andhra Pradesh and SRM Chennai, then you have BIT Mesra, BIT Goa, so various uh, colleges are there now if you ask me which one is the best it depends on what suits you which location and because the college is not only about the degree it's all about the environment it's all about the faculties and uh, stuff definitely in biotechnology the uh, private colleges have an upper hand especially but they are costly but the government colleges they have an entrance exam so you'll have to write an entrance exam to get into bsc or btech whatever degree you choose but i hope i was able to do justice with this video but i'm sure you will have questions uh, please uh, feel free to you know comment below with whatever questions you have and at this juncture uh, if you ask me i will suggest you only do btech if you have the patience of doing a degree for four years, if you 
have a good command over mathematics, which obviously you can develop over a period of time. And definitely, if you want to get into the industry straight away and you want to develop applied knowledge of subject, not theoretical knowledge. Go for a BSc if you want to develop research acumen. Um, you want to do your MSc and PhD and develop research skills. You want to become a professor or you want to get into academia or industry as a researcher, as a scientist, then BSc is your forte. Last line. I still believe that there was no need of two degrees. Okay, probably they would have merged into one and said, okay, this is one degree and that's what you should have followed. But thanks to our country, this is how it is. So let me know in the comment section whatever questions you have and I'll try to answer them. For now, I have, I hope I have silenced this question, BTEC versus BSE. But if you have any future questions, I'm right here. You can write to me at shaker at biotechnic.org. Thank you. Keep shining. Bye-bye.